DeWalt has more new tool news. And we hit 50,000 subscribers this week, so we're giving away a ton of cool prizes. This is your Power Tool Week in Review. This episode is brought to you by Ohio Power Tool. Pro tools, pro service, all of the best prices at ohiopowertool.com. And Ego, power beyond belief. Welcome back, Power Tool fans. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. It's October 2nd, 2020, and this week we hit 50,000 subscribers here at Belt and Boxing. To celebrate, we're giving away a ton of new tools from Ego, Skill, Milwaukee, and even a $250 gift card from OhioPowerTool.com. We'll tell you how to enter in a moment, but first, your Power Tool news. <laughs> Now you have to watch our show. Suckers. Every major tool show that Sarah and I attend each year was canceled in 2020, obviously due to the pandemic. And now one of the biggest is already making changes for 2021. The World of Concrete, which takes place every February in Las Vegas, was able to happen just before COVID shut everything else down this year. As more and more shows canceled this fall, the question about the viability of a World of Concrete 2021 was weighing on industry minds. This week, the WOC announced that their 2021 show would move to June. This is the first time they've had to move the event in its 46-year history. In an attempt to keep visitors safe, they're implementing Informa's all-secure standards, which includes enhanced cleaning, non-contact registration, physical distancing, health screenings, and a lot more. When WOC 2021 takes place, they'll be one of the first shows to occupy the Las Vegas Convention Center's $980 million West Hall expansion, which will add 1.4 million square feet to the existing 3.2 million. Registration will begin early 2021. Ryobi continues to push its way into pro territory with their new line of HP tools with the three inch cutoff saw. But is it pro enough? Tim from Shop Tool Reviews put it up against the Milwaukee M12 saw to find out. Most tool fans will know that Ryobi is owned by TTI, who also owns Milwaukee. So this is already a battle of, I don't know, step tools? Step tools? Is is that a thing? Yes, it is. Okay, sweet. So coming from the same family, you'd expect them to be similar, and on paper they are. But the Milwaukee is 12 volt versus Ryobi's 18 volt. And the Ryobi is, well, a Ryobi, which makes this a very interesting matchup. Tim spends a long time with each one, running them through a variety of tests, and comes up with some surprising results. You can watch for yourself at Shop Tool Reviews on YouTube. DeWalt continues to announce new tools this week, this time giving us an all-new 20-volt max drywall sander. The new cordless drywall sander is the first of its kind in the DeWalt lineup. It has a telescoping shaft and a fully articulating head, making it easy to sand both walls and ceilings, even in tight spaces. Of course, drywall sanding is more about dust than anything else, and DeWalt has this covered with wireless tool control, which allows the unit to wirelessly activate and deactivate a compatible dust extractor. If you've been waiting for a cordless sander, you can finally get it this fall for $439 as a bare tool or $619 with a two battery kit. On Thursday, we got an email from Ohio Power Tool pointing out several price drops on Milwaukee tools, and we decided to see if the prices were really that good. We were glad we looked. There are a ton of gems on this list. Packout dollies that have always been $90 online are available for only $59. Their hard hat USB lights drop from $100 to only $50. The $70 Packout 10-inch tote, $40. Need M18 batteries? The XC 6.0 and CP 3.0 combo pack dropped from $250 to only $149. OPT tells us that the stock is limited on these deals, so get over there fast. We'll provide a direct link to the deals in our description below. So we hit 50,000 subscribers this week. Woo! Yes, indeed. And to celebrate, we reached out to our sponsors and put together a very special prize package. Four prize packages, to be precise. That's right. Four lucky winners will get one of the following prizes. First up, from Ego, the 650 CFM blower. From Skill, we have a 12-volt drill driver and digital level, a wall mount red line laser, and a 20-volt brushless reciprocating socket. From Milwaukee, we actually have one of the brand new top-offs, which are so new, we're not allowed to send it to the winner until after the third episode of Pipeline goes live on October 15th. 
And our fourth winner will get a $250 gift card to OhioPowerTools.com. Now there are two ways to get entered. One, leave a comment on this video telling us which prize you'd want, no guarantees, and why. For a second entry, we'll link to a post on Instagram where you can comment as well. We want to thank all of our sponsors for making 50,000 a reality for us. And most of all to you for watching every week so we can do what we love. Yep, watching ourselves on screens. Doing the tool news. That's what I meant. Okay. Good luck, everybody. It's time again for our construction industry news, courtesy of the Construction Junkie. Wood has never been cheap, but recently, thanks to our favorite global pandemic, the price of lumber has been sky high and it doesn't look like it's coming down anytime soon. COVID has definitely slowed production, but when you stack that with devastating wildfires in the Northwest and imported lumber tariffs, wood ain't cheap. That's why your $2.70 two by fours at Lowe's have been $7.50. And as the prices rise, the NAHB is calling for President Trump to ease up on tariffs placed on imported lumber from Canada, but who knows if that'll happen. The wildfires are not just destroying forests, but the industry is expecting logging bans, closed railroad lines, and additional sawmill shutdowns in the Northwest. All of this adds up to really, really expensive wood. If only we could build homes with hopes and dreams. Let's talk about something more delicious. As it gets colder outside, having a hot meal to warm you up on the job site is important. And thanks to Lunch Ease, it's now easier than ever. This is the Lunch Ease rechargeable automatic self-heated lunchbox. Add the leftovers of your choice, power up the ridiculously unnecessary full color LED screen, punch in your lunch time, and two hours before, it will automatically start heating up your food. Clever idea but at $150, good lord, you have to want hot food. In the promotional videos, it's pretty clear that people in many different workplaces will love this thing, except Andrew here, who has to watch Jessica enjoy her warm meal while he's left wondering why his mom sent a bologna sandwich. It's because your mom doesn't love you, Andrew. Whoa, what the heck? To warm up your own lunch and get the rest of your construction industry news, head over to constructionjunkie.com. Who hurt you? Swinging over to Instagram, Travis of Tools by Design is looking good this week in a new tool belt from Acrobibus Leather. No clue if I'm saying that right, but I already want one. Our buddy Thibault of French MTL Carpentry got his hand on the new Milwaukee M12 hatchet and immediately got to baking cookies. And Joe, the Canadian carpenter, is putting together a comparison of six and a half inch circular saws. Starting off with a Makita, Metabo HPT, Milwaukee, and that's just the brands that start with the letter M. He's determined to answer the question, can a six and a half inch circular saw make the cut? Be sure to follow Joe to find out. Last week we talked about Home Depot and their new Milwaukee product leak, which you can watch right here. Thanks to Ego, Skill, and Ohio Power Tool for sponsoring this episode. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We'll see you next week.